All right there guys, how are you all doing? I'm at quite possibly the most depressing place in the whole of Western Europe this evening. It's about 20 past one in the morning. I'm about to take the Flix bus over to London from Brussels to my home country. This is Brussels North train station. Isn't it beautiful, look. And I paid 25 euro for this tonight and uh, they already delayed it by two hours. About three weeks ago, they sent me a little uh, email telling me that they were gonna leave two hours later, which means I'll miss my connection in London. I'm gonna arrive in London tomorrow at 9.25 a.m. Uh, <laughs> and I'm meant to catch a bus to Swindon to meet my mates at nine o'clock. So uh, let's see if we make it. Great, cheers, mate. Okay. There we go, we made it on, not too full. the journey it's nearly half past two in the morning look at this beautiful little bathroom we've got on board look. don't know how to flush life on board the overnight flix bus to london loving it look at this wow beautiful so what's this one for then drinking how unusual just this little tap Once again, the joys of the overnight flex bus. We have to take our baggage off. So the driver sent us all in uh, with just our little hand luggage, not even that, just with our passports. They just said passports and expects us to get off. Didn't even tell us what to do. And now uh, I've gone through and the guy said to me in French, ah, il faut uh, prendre tous les bagages. And now uh, I've said to him that we've got to take all our baggage so now everyone's got to get their baggage out. Never a dull moment with flex bus. So this now is the moment of truth. There's our bus and we're waiting for everybody to come through the passport control. Of course, I've been through it already. I've got my British privilege. Oh, sorry. So yeah, they uh, told me to stop filming back then. By they, I mean the border force. They're doing such a great job protecting the borders of the whole country. A cheerful lot here. Like. Not a bad experience for 25 years, wouldn't you agree? Especially this guy, his phone keeps coming. He won't answer it, he just lets it ring to annoy everyone. <laughs> Gets the right characters on these. Deck 5, the most important. Deck 5. If you remember color, you will be fine. If no, you will find it as well. You don't have to go outside, so take on your shoes. And you've been so well informed on a flick bus. <laughs> sleep on the ferry you've got to be one of the first off your bus and I've not managed to do that right let's see if there are any sofas left oh, there's one. result disclaimer that last scene was pretty much completely fake because uh, I slept maybe about five minutes during this whole ferry because you can probably hear the school kids. Anyway, we're coming into Dover now. And from there, it should be a, an easy stretch, hopefully to London, though <laughs> the time change with leaving two hours later means we're now going into London during rush hour now, during the morning rush. So here we go, let's see if we make it there. Um, anytime this morning it's seven o'clock UK time now let's go just like that I'm in my home county Kent like every kind of minute that they are taking it like every kind of minute they are taking money off it you understand do they have a uh, over here? Because 
60, yeah. I know that 60 has, yeah. but I don't know if 60 has it open yet. <coughs> Check the, the 60 F for me. Okay. Yeah, 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 I know you have to put money on it. Uh, you have to put like 20, 20, I think 20 pounds. I don't think that I can take <laughs> So there you go, that was your trip from Brussels to London. Got my bag back. So your question now for me will be, was it worth it? Was it a nice trip? Do I recommend it? Well, for the price, yeah, I guess I do. Only 25 euro, Brussels to London overnight. Quite convenient, I'm here, ooh, only 15 minutes late, I think. Well arrived in London, 20 to 10 in the morning. Missed my connection to Swindon, but we expected that, didn't we? So I booked another one. Guess what? I'm a glutton for more punishment. We're going with Flixbus again, all the way to Bristol now. How exciting. Guess how much I paid for that one? Five euro fifty, another three hours. See, look, if you've got a connection, you just come out of the arrivals here and you go across the road. And here's the passenger entrance to the departures at Victoria Coach Station, London. So yeah, it was uncomfortable. I barely got any sleep. We had to go on a P&O ferry, which I wasn't too happy about because of the recent controversy with that. It's a Flixbus, stop using P&O ferries. They made a load of people redundant that they shouldn't have done. Not happy about that. But yeah, I guess it's a more eco-friendly way of traveling. Right, oh wow, look, it's busy here. Oh wow, look at this one. Cologne at seven o'clock this morning, Flixbus as well. Delayed five hours to 12 o'clock, poor them. Who was sorry for those people who uh, delayed five hours to go to Germany and Brussels and Lille. And then of course on Flixbus you get all the normal uh, <laughs> incidents as well. People's phones going off, people talking too loudly, people smacking your chair from behind so you can't sleep. I don't think I slept at all. Maybe I can catch up on sleep on the yeah, bus man. to uh, Bristol. Or would I describe my earlier Flixbus journey well? Underwhelming, in one word. Uh, nine hours of my life, I'm never gonna get back, but hey, at least I'm in the UK now. And it looks like my bus to Bristol isn't too busy, so it should be a relaxed one. It's also a Flix bus, but it doesn't have the branding. Oh, it's got a sticker on the side. I must say, these seats are much, much more comfortable than on the proper brand of Flix bus. Uh, actual comfort. Welcome to Bristol. Wow, what a total Flixbus shit show that was. 45 minutes late, no explanation. We stopped at uh, services for ages for no reason. But I've made it to Bristol. I've got to get across town to find a train. Actually, I don't really know what direction I'm going in. My train is in 40 minutes apparently, shit. 1.3 kilometers away, all right. 21 minutes, okay, we're gonna make it. This is good. Um, I need to buy my train ticket as well. 14 hours back to back on Flixbus. Would you do it? Hey, how else are you gonna get from Brussels to Bristol for under 30 euro, huh? Pungent smell of weed in the air. Especially for you, Kim, another Jimi Hendrix mural here in Bristol. It's just like being in Bergen. <laughs> 